Um, you even spoke about pushing the limits. Is there cer certain things that you do in porn that you would never do just, you know, with your bitch just fucking her? Like regular off camera? Yeah, yeah, there's some things I wouldn't do. Like that what? I, that I don't do. Like all that shit I used to do for Black Payback. That mm. website, Black Payback, I used to work for it when I had to, uh, mm. where I was doing all the um, the throat, the deep throat fucking, the throwing up, and the, the, mm. the fist gagging and all that stuff. Not a fan of that. that shit. Mm. No, I never liked it. And that's what even actually caught me that rape case. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's speak on it because well, I've seen that too. That's women. what even caught yeah. me with that. And I, I never even liked to do it. But then when you sometimes when you put in a certain predicament in your life and you need the money, and it's not being no offense, white people take advantage of that shit. Yeah. Mm. They knew what they needed a big black nigga to do and what they wanted to do on their site. Yeah. They knew where I was at in my life at that moment. And they took advantage of it. Right. Those girls said they were kind of misled into... No, there was no lies, bro. I guess they didn't know they were in the comedy through those <laughs> Nigga, there yeah. was no lies. There was okay. never a lie. Gotcha. There was never a lie. That girl, I don't even want to say her name, but Lee Raven yeah. is a false rape accuser and she is a liar. Mm. You know? And it was she was my friend at one time and I really liked her. And, gotcha. I, and I liked her wife and I we were, we were friends. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. You know, but then sometimes people be your friends because what they can come up off of you because of what they can do. I don't know what they ill plot was on me, but I seen it later. Mm -hmm. Because to me to see you be hung from hooks and slapped and get nutted in your eyes and did all of that shit and all this crazy ass shit. Yeah. The scene that we were going to do was nowhere near that. Of course. But you did all that with all the white boys and that was cool. But then mm -hmm. I told you, I was trying to put some money in your pocket when one of the girls canceled. I called you. Hey. Do you want to come work? Yeah. You test it? Yeah. Okay, well, this is everything on the scene. I explained everything. Hey, there's racial play. There's this. There's that. There's da 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 da, da. Yeah. I'm going to give you the production manager's number. The production manager hit her, told her everything into T mm -hmm. of what she had to do and what she was doing. She shows up early, makeup ready, very professional. Everything is sweet. We laughing the whole time. Now, the director sits her down and explains everything to her in T. Mm -hmm. Now, lo and behold... Um, now we go to set and we're working. Every time we choose to cut, I'm picking her up and giving her water. I don't know if you guys ever seen the behind the scenes footage, no. um, but there's that's what thing that's what saved me because mm -hmm. there was a nanny cam that was on the whole time that never cut off. Mm -hmm. So when she went to the police the next day and lied for rape and assault and went to the hospital and got mm -hmm. a rape kit done and did all that shit after you cast your check, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you raped and you got your you cast your check, though. yeah, you know. But since you went to the police, there had to become a serious investigation. <laughs> yeah. And they took over a year to do that. So I get, and then you go to Twitter, and then I get slandered and, mm -hmm. and all that. But then on the tape, you see me picking her head up. Here's her water. Here's her towel. She's laughing. She's smiling. Her wife comes. She's laughing and smiling. Her wife brought me candy and juice and shit, like mm -hmm. all of that. And for you to go lie on me and say that I raped you and you were crying while we were having sex never happened none of that like the behind the scenes is still out there like they put that shit out as well you, you mm -hmm. can watch the whole fucking thing it's three hours long what do you think she uh, was motivated by to do that to you money and attention and then it's funny because even in the YouTube video that YouTube actually had taken down since the, the day she had another girl come out and say that I did it to her and then which the girl mm -hmm. recanted and said that she forced me to that Leah yeah. forced her to lie with I've her seen that yeah um and she was like, should I be crying more? What? Bitch, how you going to ask your wife, should you be crying more? And she wasn't even there. Yeah. And then your wife gets on there and says that, oh, well, she wasn't taking her psychotic meds. So now she's not yeah. taking her medicine and she at work. How Ooh. did that affect you, though? So after Horribly. that. Wow. So did, like, uh, like director stop booking you? And oh, yeah. Like that? I was fucked. They tried to blackball me. Wow. Try to blackball me. But you can't get rid of the goat. No facts. The truth for always come out. It, it took me. I was out of work for a year and a half. I fucking jail um fucking bail lawyers attorney people the girl, people talked about me so bad on twitter wow, all wow. the girls are popping up like oh yeah he is aggressive yeah he is this oh he is that <laughs> when the fuck did all of this come about wow. and then any girls that would come to my protection shout mm -hmm. out like uh you know who jumped up my protection one of the people i do remember who definitely did was um Oh, I'm having a brain fart now. Jada, Jada Stevens, mm -hmm. she jumped out quick. Like Rico would never do that. What the fuck wrong with y'all? Mm -hmm. And then people just jumped on her. And then any girl that would say anything positive about me, would do mm -hmm. it. They would jump down their throat. Yeah. Wow. And try to. And then it's like it became a ridicule thing. Of if you say something about Rico positive, then we're gonna try to you know talk shit about you, blackball you, and do things. Wow. It's like even even still like it's the same thing. Why I don't like the internet too much. To certain the bullying and people like to mm -hmm. pick when they want to bully. Mm -hmm. It's like, rest in peace, August Ames, one of my great friends, yeah. one of my Puerto Rican partners. Mm -hmm. And she chose to not work with a dude because he did 
crossover gay porn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she didn't say it rude when she went on her Twitter. She said, I choose to not work with this performer for my safety and others' safety. Mm-hmm. This is my choice. Gotcha. And people jumped on that girl's Twitter and her line, so disrespectful. And mm-hmm. this is one thing I said about the LGBTQ plus community because mm-hmm. they told me we bully them. Like, y'all bully the fuck out of us. Mm-hmm. As soon as we say something that we don't like about y'all, they bully us to death. Yes. And they are an army. <laughs> <laughs> they are a big army with a whole bunch of generals. Yeah. And they do not be playing. And that girl killed herself two days later. Wow. Yep. Because people bullied her so much over her not wanting her own free speech of not wanting to work with a person. Wow. Because of what they're doing in their sex life, which is her choice. Mm-hmm. They bullied her so much to where she killed herself. And I mean, people's, and that's, th- th- up. that's people's impulses. Mm-hmm. Instead really? of trying to maybe educate her or give her some other information so they can maybe change her mind, mm-hmm. it's like, no, let's bully and attack and harass like, them. Everybody can't handle that. And mm-hmm. I feel like she kind of caused like a, a reckoning to some extent where maybe some of these people who are leading these online pylons <coughs> realized mm-hmm. how toxic it was and yeah. how it's just mm-hmm. not cool. It did that. It hurts people. You know, I've, mm-hmm. I've had suicidal thoughts. Because of the shit. I, even mm-hmm. during that, when I was going through that, like somebody would blame me for rape. Like, dude, I got 12 sisters. Of course. The fuck I need to rape somebody for? I'm like one of the most sought after dicks in the world. I got to rape somebody? Yeah, I can imagine. Like, what? And you got 10,000 other scenes that you did without a problem. Without and a problem. somehow this and then, one. I, and then somehow I'm going to rape somebody on set, on camera. Yeah. In front of other people. So what these other people was doing while <laughs> we was here? It don't make sense, That's man. like us all being in here and <laughs> I'm over there just doing that. And then nobody did nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like. Okay, guys. We want to thank you so, so much for getting us to 100,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. If you want to support, please click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 200K. Thank you. Thank you so much.